While it might seem like every video game is very different and unique, almost all games have some larger elements in common. Almost all of them render 2D or 3D graphics, play sounds, and run physics simulations so that when the player or an object runs into a wall, they don't just pass right through it. These ideas are common to almost every genre, including first-person games, top-down strategy games, sports games, flight simulators, and many more. However, writing the code to render graphics to the screen is extremely complicated and challenging, and that's only one part of a complete game. Since every game needs these big components, it wouldn't make sense to rewrite every time you wanted to create a new game. That's where a game engine comes into play. A game engine is a framework for building games, and the scope of a game engine can include pre-written code that will help you create your game, as well as a graphical user interface that helps you coordinate game assets like sounds, textures, and 3D models. Typically, a game engine will include all of the tools you need to put together graphics, sound, physics, animations, user interfaces, and more. This is great because it means that you can focus on the code that makes your game different from all of the rest, rather than wasting your time reinventing the basics. One thing I should point out is that a game engine is not a 3D modeling application. You don't use it to create your own game art. For that, you need to use a 3D modeling program like Maya, Blender, or 3ds Max, and then import your creations into the game engine. Basically, the game engine is where you tie everything together with code. Up until very recently, a high-quality game engine was expensive and out of reach for everyone except for the largest game studios. However, that's all changed. Some of the most popular game engines are now free to use for independent developers like you and me. This is huge news because it means you have free access to all the same tools that big AAA game studios use to make games that you've probably played on mobile, PC, Mac, game consoles, and other major platforms. The two most popular game engines that are available to game developers right now are called Unity and Unreal. For example, Hearthstone, Monument Valley, Threes, and Crossy Road are successful games that were built on the Unity game engine. There are some important differences between the two, but fundamentally, they both include the major systems I just mentioned. They also both have the ability to deploy to many platforms using the same code. You can write the core of your game once, and then you can make a few small tweaks to deploy to PC, Mac, Linux, game consoles, and mobile devices, all from the same code base. That's great because if you release a game on one platform like PC and it becomes popular, it's a lot less work to release it on another platform such as mobile phones. For the most part, the hard work is already done. In these lessons, we're going to use the Unity game engine. We're choosing Unity for a number of reasons, but essentially it's free and it's much easier to learn when you're just getting started. Before we download and install Unity, let's spend some time thinking about the design of our game. 